What is up guys, in this tutorial we are going to make this tank level widget using Cayenne dashboard. You can see that the level widget synchronizes with the physical tank and when you add some water you can see that the level of the water is increasing and when you draw out some water you can see that it also reacts. So let's get to the coding. For this project we're gonna need any ESP8266 uh, microcontroller. In this case we are using the Nod MCU and a neutrosonic sensor that is going to help us measure the level of the water. So the connections are as follows. The VCC and the ground are from the ultrasonic sensor are connected to the microcontroller which is Nod MCU and the trick pin is connected into D6 D5 and the echo pin is connected into D6. Now, after hooking up the ultrasonic sensor to your Nod MCU, as shown, now you need to open your Arduino IDE and start coding. But first, to get started, you can see that I have the basics code for uploading something into the Cayenne dashboard. Like I have where I have this library for Cayenne dashboard ESP8266. I also have set up the Wi Fi for my network because for this project to work, it requires an internet access. I also have the username, password, and client ID, which we're going to fetch from the Cayenne dashboard. And I also have the beginning for Cayenne dashboard, which is where it combines uh, the username, password, and client ID from the Cayenne dashboard and the network you have so that it can grab data into the board. So now we also have a lot of delay and this, we are going to complete this after bringing some few information from the Cayenne dashboard. Now let's go to the Cayenne dashboard so we can get this username password and client ID. After you log in into your Cayenne dashboard using your email and password, you can see that we have here, which we already seen in previous tutorials, I have the Raspberry Pi, Arduino, LoRa, and bring your own thing. Surprisingly, we have no ESP8266, which is the microcontroller that we have, not MCU. That's why I'm going to choose Cayenne API Bring Your Own Thing. I'm going to click on it and then I have the MQTT username, which is this one, the MQTT password and the client ID. So the next thing to do is to grab these values, bring them into your Arduino IDE. This is the username. I'm going to paste it there. Also, I'm going to copy the password put it into my IDE, go back, copy the client ID and paste it here. Sorry, paste it here. All right, now the next thing to do is to consider our ultrasonic sensor, which will help us to, you know, measure the level of the water. If you look closer, you can see that here, the dashboard is waiting for our board to connect. After we program everything nicely, the board will reach the dashboard and send the value of the level of our tank. Now I'm gonna go here a little and declare the trig pin because we know that ultrasonic has a trig pin, which is the pin that receives the waves that come that that comes from the output the input gave given by the echo pin which sends signal and then after touching an obstacle the signal gets back and are received by the echo pin so let's now declare the trig pin but let's maybe say const which is constant const trig pin trig pin i can't type trig pin and put it into d5 and now we're going to say const again echo pin and then we put it into d6 as seen on the diagram now we're going to need another variable which is duration 
duration to kind of help us store the value of the duration of the, the wave that is sent by the ultrasonic to the water so that we know the level or the distance of the water in our tank. So I'm not gonna, it's just a variable. I'm gonna go ahead and declare another one, which is distance. Now in the ultrasonic sensor, when, we, when the ultrasonic sensor sends the value with the trig pin, it is received by the echo pin after it touches an obstacle, it gets back, just like the bat does when they're flying. So now that's why we need the duration to count the uh, to count the amount of time used by the ultrasonic sensor to send a wave to the nearest obstacle and then the distance helps us to calculate now the distance after the wave is sent and came back to the ultrasonic sensor to to the echo pin now here in void setup what we need to do is to specify that the using the function called pin mode here we are going to say that the trig pin, the trig pin is an output. And again, we're going to say now, let me just copy and paste, copy and paste. We're going to say that the echo pin, echo pin is the input because it receives, receives the wave sent by the trig pin after touching an obstacle. Now we're going to go down here a little in the void loop and we need to specify that uh, something we need to do here is to try to warm up the sensor or clear it up. So the way to do that is to first start by saying digital write and then we need to put the trig pin trig pin high sorry low so now next we need to delay we're not going to use delay we're just going to use delay microsecond microseconds we're going to delay two microseconds and then we're going to now put the digital right this time we're going to put the trick pin high. So now this time we are sure that the trick pin is warmed up and it's ready to detect the distance. So send the signal to the obstacle and bring it back to the echo pin and we get a nice value. So now here it's high. We're also going to delay because a delay is very important because after you delay, you give it a lot of time to breathe. Now we're going to say delay microseconds again, microseconds. Now we're going to delay a little more, which is 10 seconds. Now here, let's now put the digi the trick pin, which is digital, sorry, not in uppercase, digital. Now we put the trick pin. Now we put the trick pin low. So now here we can now, after warming up the sensor, this is what it does. We need now here we need now to read and calculate the distance used by the sensor to send the trick pin to send a wavelength to a, a nearest obstacle in this case it's water because it's you know facing uh, in a water tank so what we need is to say digital now we need to calculate the duration duration will be now we read the pulse pulse in now we are going to see if the ec the echo pin has gotten some wavelength from the trig pin sent to an obstacle now this is we put it high and then we're gonna need to calculate now the distance the distance traveled by the wavelength sent by 
sent by the trig pin. Now distance will be, it's just a formula, we need to take the duration times 0 0.034 divide by 2. Why do we divide by 2? We divide by 2 because when the trick pin is put uh, near an obstacle, if the trick pin sends the data, it sends the wavelength to the obstacle, it needs to get back to the echo pin. So now, which means the, wave, the wavelength traveled a distance two times. That's why we need to divide by two so that we get the distance, which if we don't divide by two, we're going to have a double distance. So now, after doing this, now we need to calculate the level of our water in the tank. Because, because the, the sensor, the ultrasonic sensor, is put up onto the sensor facing the water, if the water is near, now the percentage is that the water is 100%. So to calculate now, let's first, the, to calculate the level of the water, let's just the, say int and say level. That's a variable to hold the level of the water in the tank. And then we're going to say 100. I'm saying 100 because this is the formula to, for, you know, counting the level of the amount of water in the tank. So I'm going to say 100. You're going to see it a little later what it means. Distance, the distance that we just found, times, because we need the, the level of the water in percentage, times 100 over 40. So I am assuming that my tank, the one that you saw in the starting of this video, is this is the centimeters or centimeter of my tank. So here you need to add the value or the number of uh, centimeters of the or the the length the length or the height of your tank so in my case mine is 40 centimeters because this formula right here gives us the distance in centimeters so now this 100 is to kind of get the real value in percentage now i am dividing here everything stays like this so if you have a tank that has maybe like uh, one meter you will do this but mine is 40 so now what i need to do after doing this is to so now come here to the cayenne virtual right which is the value that is going to send our percentage to the cayenne dashboard so we can you know create a gauge and i'm gonna here put level this one means that we are sending this to the Cayenne dashboard through channel 1, okay? We're going to need this into the Cayenne dashboard. So, I think everything is set up great. This delay is to, you know, kind of give a little breathing space to the Cayenne dashboard, not putting in values, you know, on and on and on without delaying a little. So, if everything is pretty fine, I'm going to check if I have my pot. Oops, I don't have it. So, I need to connect my circuit which is the microcontroller and now i can see here that i have port com port 15 and then the next thing to do is to upload seems like we have an error which is trick being does not nay okay so here we forgot to add int and here int so let's upload again Again, duration, I need to put this, let's say duration, base, I don't know what's wrong with variables.
Um, okay, echo pin. This should ah okay. We need to add the little O right here. Oops. All right, now I think it's uploading. So let's go to the Cayenne dashboard to see if there's an effect that is happening. Maybe let's try to refresh a little. So yes, boom. You can see that we have the device that is added. That's because our board, after we uploaded the codes, the board just started sending few data onto the Cayenne dashboard so you can see now what we need to do here is to create now the widget for temperature it is showing these wrong values because I didn't yet put it over the, the tank the real ta white tank that you saw so let's go here and add a widget so we need to go to add new device and widget now I need to go down here and go to um, custom widgets I'm gonna need to choose this one for tank display and then I'm gonna go here let me just call it you can see it on the right corner I'm gonna call it tank level tank level and then yes of course the device is the one that we just added data I'm gonna say yes I'm gonna leave it like that so now the channel very important we're gonna put the one that was specified here on the Cayenne right virtual right I'm gonna put one so now the minimum value is zero the maximum value is a hundred and so we, you, you can choose I like using the vertical display and then I'm gonna go do add widget boom now if you go ahead and put your sensor over the your tank you can see that in real time it shows it shows you the level of amount of water of your tank so thanks for watching if you like any other tutorial if you like to follow or watch other tutorials that is related to iot and Cayenne dashboard consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to put a thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like this video and thanks until next time peace